I'm very into football since the age of five years old. My parents got me into soccer at a, at a very early age, and since then I've been playing my whole life. I love watching football. My daughter plays football. I follow the World Cup. We, uh, we were in Panama last time the Panamanians played in the World Cup for the first time. And we're in Sydney where the first Women's World Cup will be held and it'll be the first time for Panama playing there as well for the women's. It's good for the like exposure of the country, I guess you could say. It's really cool. Well, I think it's the first time Panama comes in, the, in this event and it's wonderful for us to give it a lot of uh, for you? Support. Support to them. I think because as a woman, you know, like coming from Panama, being a young woman, so excited to receive all the girls here in Australia. They're a very young and passionate team with high spirits. I think they will do very well. If they work together and keep their spirits up, they will, they will go very far. And hopefully they'll go well, but <laughs> you never know. I don't think we're ranking very high in the odds, but um, but I just you know it's, it's good to be it's, it's good to be a part of it. You know, even for the men's World Cup, it was a party just scoring a goal. Yeah. You know, we lost every game, but just just scoring a goal in the World Cup was great for the country. So that's that's fine. I, I don't mind if we don't win. However, or whatever they go, we're gonna support her because they have done a magnificent job. So the thing is that they need to have fun and enjoy this because it's the first time of. Panamanians Women Club here. Um, I hope after this, they receive all the support for the governments that they need to. Vamos, vamos, Panama. Vamos, vamos, Panama. Yeah, so this is jerk chicken, man. You know, it's, uh, it's what we're known for. Uh, it's the most well-known dish to come out of Jamaica and the Caribbean. You know, it's tasty. Um, you're not really getting these flavors from anywhere else. And, um, you know, Jamaicans do it best. She invented it, number one. Um, and number two, you know, we, we know how to cook a piece of chicken, man. You know, it's a, very, it's a big part of her staple um, coming out of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Um, you know, the influences in her food uh, are vast. You know, the British, the Spanish, Indian, um, African, of course, the local um, uh, people as well. So, you know, there's so many different um, ingredients and methods all come together to create Jamaican food. As we say in Jamaica, you know, out of many one people, you know, no matter where you come from, your background, could be Indian, could be British descent, whatever it is, we, we're all just Jamaican. Growing up in Jamaica, you finish school, you go home, you get changed, straight to the football field, just to play with your friends and the mates and everyone pull teams together and you play and then you go home, eat dinner and get ready for bed. It's a big part of what we do in Jamaica. Go Jamaica! Go Jamaica! We're from Canada, we moved at the end of 2021. Um, so we've been here for 18 months. Soccer's one of our top sports. And it's good that the women's are uh, involved in the soccer. Um, and they're coming to Australia, we're really, really proud. I think they have a really good chance of winning and really hopeful, uh, we will be cheering them on. Growing up, I was always big into soccer, but it wasn't a big sport, and now it's massive, so it really says a lot about how everything's changed over time. I think it's like a, a staple of multiculturalism, just because soccer is a, quite an international sport. So um, the fact that it's big in Canada and that it's being recognized in a, on a global scale is a, is a big thing. I'm very passionate about the fact that Canada's coming here for the World Cup and I'm very interested in seeing the girls play. Well, based on their pre-performance, I think they'll knock some people's socks off and they should do very well. Go Canada! Go Canada! Woo! Football is the biggest sport. It's the biggest sport in terms of what people play, but also the biggest sport in terms of watching football and it's a big part of the kind of cultural uh, national psyche. I'm not that into uh, football of knowing like every country, but when it's about Costa Rica, I'm like very excited. I love to see like the World Cups and, and the, the Costa Rican people playing. Unfortunately, <laughs> women's sports doesn't always get the same kind of coverage as men's sports. So, you know, I can see that that's something that's changing. The, the effort that uh, the professionals had been doing to 
towards the, the women's uh, football clubs back in Costa Rica are really good. Uh, they're coming like in a really equal position as in as the men's team. They're gonna be playing in New Zealand. I, I hope that we can see them like doing a very good performance and then hopefully to have it here in, in, in Australia and see them like playing. I think they will, they will do really well. They'll win lots of matches. They'll score lots of goals. I have no doubt. I think they're going to do really well. They have a lot of injuries on their roster, but all the girls that are selected are still awesome, and I think they'll be able to pull it out. It's really cool. I'm going to go to a couple games and support and get to watch, so I'm really excited. I'm really excited for them and getting to see them on the world stage again. I've grown up watching them. And I got to play against uh, Emily Sonnet and Kelly O'Hara, who are rostered, so that'll be really cool. Every level, getting to see women represented and getting to watch them play is really important and in the U.S. we've just added another high-level league which is USLW League. There's been a lot of new younger girls playing and they go to the games and everything so I think here it'll be the same. At our age we now have people to look up to which we didn't when we were kids so it'll be really cool for kids now to have female soccer players to look up to. Go USA! <laughs> I was born in Haiti. Um, I was born in Port-au-Prince so it's very exciting to me to have the World Cup, you know, to have the Haitians in the World Cup and are playing here in Australia, which is the furthest away from home <laughs> that you can get. Unfortunately, there, are, there isn't a big Haitian community here. Um, I know myself and maybe a couple more people, and that's pretty much it. So I'm hoping, you know, I'll be at the game, and I'm hoping all of them will be out at the game too. You know, this is a special occasion. And so, you know, my country is in World Cup. It's, you know, first time. Um, I am out to support. I grew up playing it, whether you know, you're playing barefoot uh, football in the streets, in the park. Um, so it is embedded, it is in our blood. Go Haiti! I like soccer. Um, and, um, you know, it's a women's football, you know, so I'm definitely going to be supporting women by all means. I think it's awesome. Yeah, magnificent. It's a, it's a great opportunity and, and um, it's very uh, great that Australia is hosting the Women's World Cup, so yeah, it's superb. Yeah, I think it will be really fun and interesting to just watch some women kick around the ball. I'm